hi my name is keys and welcome back to my channel all right so for today's video i'm going to be painting mr beast right here it's already done and um this drawing came about because one night i was sketching and i made this and it's drawn in my casual sketchbook so I had to transfer it to my ranked sketch <laughs> to, my, to my other sketchbook because there's the sketch I make videos on and I paint stuff on and um, I just used mixed media and acrylic paints that's all I'm gonna need for this painting and water, pencil, eraser some other stuff and varnish too after the painting is done and yeah that's it enjoy the video all right so um just to get started i had already done the other sketch like i did it the night before and then when i woke up in the morning i was all like i should make this into a full piece drawing and i still think the original sketch looks better but like that's a thing for like me and I think other artists when you draw something it's difficult to redraw it as good as it was before so I just did my best on the second sketch all right so um I used this random picture I found of Mr. Beast and for my reference picture and I just used his face and I wanted it to look as much like him as possible because when I color him I'm not going to be using um human colors i'm just going to be using blue and pink for his skin and his hair and stuff so it had to look like him to sell it even underneath all the unnatural coloration of his skin and hair all right so for the concept i was going for something kind of trippy um a lot of eyeballs lightning bolts slime all that stuff and after i finished the sketch i made a digital swatch of what I wanted things to look like so I know I wanted his face to be blue and his hair to be pink and that's about it everything else was kind of just going to happen um, and I was going for a pop art style so very bright you know stuff when you see it you're like mm, that looks so bright and saturated that's what I was going for so if you see it you can see it from a mile away and when I first started coloring I was panicking because the paint kind of covered up all the lines i think the paint was too thick so i couldn't see anything and then i was trying to make his face still look like his face even though that kind of got lost in the process all right so um a little bit about the concept i drew it with a lot of eyes and kind of in a way where I don't really know how to describe it but I wanted space slime and eyes and mushrooms and just the signature blue and pink colors I didn't really know kind of where I was going with it but I just know I wanted a lot of eyes because I guess a lot of people watch him I don't know that's so dumb but I, I don't know and then mushrooms because all mush mushrooms are always included in drawings dealing with the trippiness and then just slime stuff oozing down I don't know where they were going I don't know where they came from but I just wanted to look really cool like some super cool pop art and I was putting a lot of emphasis on not blending things so everything was supposed to be just very rough lines and where you can see the brush strokes that was very important for this drawing because the lines have to be very bold and very brash and I wanted for you to see the highlights the lines and the colors and everything very um I wanted everything to be seen I don't know where I'm going with this. I wanted I wanted everything to just be very bold yeah that's it and then the lines were done with black acrylic paint kind of diluted with some water so that I could get some viscosity in order to make to have some variety in my lines so some places I want to go really thick and some places I want to go really thin and these lines are even more important because the paint covered up my sketch so now I had to look at um, the reference picture I used of Mr. Beast and figure out how everything was going to look and try to make the lines 
kind of convey him more and make it look more like him so i had to look at his hair pattern look at the way his mustache is just look at everything and try to still make it look like him because everything was covered up and i was kind of blind when doing the lines and um i think the lines are an amazing touch they're so bold and i want them to be very thick and big um and yeah i kind of wanted this to look a little different from my other paintings not a lot of blending you can just see the art like kind of like this isn't something you kind of would see me make with acrylic because the lines are so thick and they're not very subtle they're just there like bold black lines and by the time i finished coloring and finished adding the lines there was so much color i was like this is not this was not the plan you know this drawing kind of deviated but when I tell you I love it, I love it so much. It looks so bold and beautiful. And I also think it looks like Mr. Beast, which was the goal of the drawing in the first place. So I'm just adding some varnish and that's about it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe. I'll be back next week because I already recorded another video. Okay, um, I'm gonna go now. 